Good afternoon, Bob Stockberger with you, pastor of Life Point Giles, getting ready for a new year. And I want to talk about a new creation. You know, I was very uh, disappointed in certain behaviors in a story that I read this week. A young lady <clears throat> who had been admitted to a college of her dreams had said a bad word a few years early when she was a freshman in high school. And one of her classmates had recorded this and decided to put it on social media to ruin her college application. And just as disappointing as his behavior, as well as her behavior with the bad word, even more so was the behavior of the spineless people at the university, the spineless administrators who bowed to the pressure of social media and revoked her admission because they were afraid they would get in trouble with the media by admitting a young lady who made a mistake four years earlier when she was 14 or 15. Because don't you see, all three of these individuals and this university have sinned. The young girl made a mistake. She sinned when she used a bad word. Her classmate sinned when he decided to destroy and ruin her by posting this video right after she had been admitted to college in an effort to get her in trouble, which he succeeded at doing. And even the worst sinners are the administrators of this university who are spineless, who wouldn't look in, at this situation and give it a fair shake, but decided to refuse her admission. So all three of these people are sinners, aren't they? But guess what? There is another person you're looking at right now who's a bigger sinner than all three of those combined. And who is that? Who is that? Are you looking in the mirror? Well, you might be, but you're looking at me. And I am a bigger sinner than any one of those three people put together. In my younger years, when I was rebelling, I used words much worse than that word the little young lady used. I used foul language. I treated people miserably. I struggle still with greed with pride, with arrogance. I am the chief of sinners. And that's why I'm so grateful that I am a new creation. This new year, the sin is wiped away when I ask the Lord to forgive me. And that's how God works. There's a beautiful passage about this in Luke 7. I'm just going to read the end of it. <clears throat> In this passage, a Pharisee had invited Jesus to dinner. And he came in and he sat down on the floor to eat. And a woman, likely a prostitute, came in and started weeping. And with her tears and her hair, she washed his feet and she kissed his feet. And the Pharisee that invited Jesus in was appalled, said, look at this woman, she shouldn't be near you, she's a sinner. And Jesus told him a, a brief parable about forgiving two debtors, but the bottom line is this. Jesus turned to Simon. He said, do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me no water to wash my feet, but she has wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You gave me no kiss of a greeting. They gave me no kiss. But from the time I came in, she has not ceased to kiss the, my feet. You do not anoint my head with oil, but she has anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore, I tell you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loves much. But he who is forgiven little, loves little. Don't you see this story, this arrogant Pharisee like me, filled with pride? He didn't love Jesus very much. He didn't know him. 
very well. This poor woman who was filled with sin loved him greatly, cried over him, washed his feet with her hair and their dirty feet in that country at that time. She kissed his feet. She loved him because she knew he was her savior. She would for, be forgiven because of him and she would be a new creation. And so there is the difference. You see a Pharisee like me, like you, who are judgmental, like that young man who was judgmental and tried to ruin that young lady's life. That's me. That's you. That's us. We are all sinners. And yet when we love Jesus so much and we ask him to forgive us, we are forgiven. And I too have had tears in my eyes, just like this woman. When Jesus has forgiven me of many of my, all of my sins because I am a sinner. And you and I, this new year, can be new creations just like this woman. She was forgiven. Her life was changed and she loved Jesus. And right now, I pray that this young woman who said the bad word will be forgiven. I pray she'll repent. I pray this young man that hurt her on purpose and seemed to be happy about it will be forgiven, that he will repent. And heaven forbid, I pray college administrators around this country will grow some backbone and spine and courage and they will be forgiven for their sin of looking the other way and throwing out a young lady or anyone whenever they get negative feedback on the internet. I pray all of these three people involved will be forgiven. And I pray that I will be forgiven of my arrogance, my sin, and that is huge. And I pray right now for you that this new year, if you haven't accepted Christ, if you still have sin that's going on in your life, that you will turn to him like this woman did with tears in your eyes. Lord, forgive me. Make me a new creation. And guess what? Guess what? He will. Pray with me. Father God, I thank you so much for your son who came as baby Jesus this Christmas, but who gave his life and died on a cross and through his shed blood, he washes me clean. He washes you clean. He washes all of us clean through his shed blood and his resurrection. He gives us a new life. We are new creations, brand new, washed in his blood as white as snow. Oh, thank you, Father. I love you so much. May we all love you so much and give our lives to you. For it's in your holy and precious name I pray. Amen. If you have prayed and you have felt Jesus come into your heart, please let me know. Email me right there. My email is my email address. If you have any questions about your faith, email me. I'd love to speak with you. Now may God bless you this new year. Stay safe on New Year's Eve. Love your God and may He wash you in His blood and give you that new creation of your life this new year. Have a great week, folks.